Thank you very much, Winfrey. Now, on relationship, uh, we will be highlighting the importance of marital counseling, not marital, premarital counseling uh, for marital success. And uh, doing justice to this today is Ola Bisi Shueton, who is a certified emotional intelligence and marriage coach, as well as the founder of Secret Place Wife. I almost said husband. <laughs> Good to have you in the studio with Good us. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so Olabisi, when people talk about uh, premarital counseling, it means that premarital, of course, you're planning to get married. Mm -hmm. But then it starts from you even deciding if you're ready or not. Please mm -hmm. tell us the, the importance of getting to that stage of premarital. Okay, so um, that's assuming that you guys must have been dating for some time. So mm -hmm. boy meets girl, girl meets boy, or in this day, I would say it's shooting your shot. However you come <laughs> to that dating scene, it's assumed that you're dating already and you've been dating for some time, mm -hmm. right? At the minimum, about six months or thereabout. Not to say that it cannot be shorter, mm -hmm. but the idea is six months and above, you know. So when you both are aligned on what is the next path for you, mm -hmm. which is really that the idea of marriage will happen happen to you mm. he will just become obvious as the next step to take yeah. based on what your goals are mm. right once you get to that point clearly what will follow is an engagement mm. you know asking will you marry me all of that sort of thing the moment you are engaged the next step will be to begin to plan for premarital counseling i like the fact that you mentioned engaged now we are in africa so there are two types of engagements now there, there's the engagement of, will you marry me? Yes mm. or no, as the case may be these days. And the engagement of, okay, your folks coming to meet my parents, the introduction. Which of these engagements must you have done or do you have to do both before attending premarital counseling? Anyone really, so long as you have marriage in view, mm -hmm. which is that there's now a wedding date or an introduction date or some date that signifies that from here on, this the is union become begins. man and wife. Mm. So long as you have that in view, premarital mm. counseling will be necessary as the next step. So whether you do the traditional introduction where your parents meet your parents, whatever, mm. or you propose in a room or you do the whole show, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, so long as there's a marriage, a wedding in view, then the counseling will be necessary. So now we've got into that wedding in view, premarital stage comes. What are the things to look out for when attending a premarital class? It's important, I mean, that's a very good question. So it's important that you align with the counsellor. A lot of times I think that we skip that, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of wanting to be sure that, oh, this person aligns with my values. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check out the counsellor properly. Mm -hmm. Do they align with your values? If you're Christian, do they talk about marriage God's way? Mm -hmm. If you're Muslim, do they understand the tenets of Islam mm -hmm. and can share that in counselling with you? Because spirituality does, um, is Matter. a big factor. Yeah in the marriage. Mm. So you also want to check, you know, where did they study? What, what's, what's really the criteria? Mm. Is it that you're going to them because they've been married for longer? Some people like older couples, mm. you know, who have been married for 30 years, so that would be experience. Mm. Or is it that you connect with them based on, you know, what they share? Mm. You know, just make sure that the person you're going to is somebody that is qualified, mm. not necessarily your pastor mm. or your sister, or mm. somebody who can be unbiased, mm. someone who has no, um, personal interest mm. in the wedding mm. or in the marriage. Mm. So they, they're able to not take sides. I think that that would be important. You, you, mentioned, professional. you mentioned checking the person out. How can you do that? Well, this is, I mean, the internet is pretty a small place now, making the world such a small village. So sometimes how you even come in contact with these people is by searching for them. Mm -hmm. So you don't go around seeking, saying this is a counselor's office around, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like how you say a salon and all of that. Mm -hmm. So most times, premarital counseling is sought because the couple searched, mm -hmm. maybe on Google, mm -hmm. maybe on the internet. And once you get into that space, mm -hmm. you can always do a trace. Mm -hmm. Do you see? So you'll find their blog, you'll find their Instagram page, mm -hmm. you will find, you know... Even for elderly people, they had yes. that too. Well, if a couple is going for elderly couple, um, person, they mm -hmm. would be maybe a church member, somebody they've known, mm -hmm. do you see? Mm -hmm. But I know some elderly um, premarital counseling online, online that I also refer people to all the time. Now, the part where you mentioned bias, because uh, I want us to talk about the benefits of premarital counseling, mm. but before that, the part you talked about bias, do you think it's actually a good idea to attend premarital counseling with someone known to you and who you know? Mm, well, 
Because at the end of the day, it's about the individual. I mean, not to say that if, if, for instance, I can speak for myself, if you come to me as a counselor, I do have the ability to not be biased, do you see? But because you never can tell, it's always better to go to a, a neutral party. Now, even if I'm not biased, I've had instances maybe where a couple knows me and one partner refuses simply because they assume that I will be biased, which mm. is valid, mm. do you see? So if I say I won't be biased, it just may not make the other person comfortable and then may begin to bring up something, some absolutely. negative emotion yeah. that is absolutely not necessary. So it's better to go to a neutral party. Okay, so now that we've established that fact, let's talk about the benefits of premarital counseling. How do they ensure marital bliss? Well, um, I like to say of marriage as something that we have no idea what we are doing. Damn. Life doesn't really prepare us for it <laughs> and that's the truth. So. Just assume in your mind that you know absolutely nothing about marriage, mm. regardless of how you feel about your partner. Mm. Once you can make that switch in your mind where you can see this almost like formal education, mm. where you are, I mean, if you want to learn coding, for instance, you know nothing about it, no matter how passionate mm. you may seem about it, mm. and you will submit yourself to some form of training. Mm. So that is one thing that can guarantee your success, going to that counseling with an open mind. And it improves your communication, it improves your relationship today. Mm. And I think that that will give you some hope for what tomorrow would look like. Thank you so much for your time, Olabi Sishoetu. It's been really interesting discussing this with you. Absolutely. Yeah, I really hope you've been able to learn a thing or two from Olabi C. Right now, though, we have to take a break. There's so much more to come on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us.